Welcome everyone to another episode of the Palm Springs Baker. You know, this city, Palm Springs, it just keeps getting better and better. And you know, that doesn't just happen. It takes citizens out there that stand up and donate to wonderful nonprofit organizations, or they physically get involved, cleaning up the city or whatever it takes. And it also, we have a very innovative Chamber of Commerce. And I've got to tell you, we have an exemplary police department. And with us today is one of truly the finest on that force, Luciano Colantuano. Luciano, I can't tell you what an honor it is to have you here today. You guys, your entire team are just amazing. I, I happen to know your, your boss, uh, the chief, Andy Mills, and I was saying to him when I got back here last fall, I said, Andy, the town looks amazing. It's like you've done a 180 in the six months that I've been gone. It's just been, you know, cleaned up. It's, you know, I think a lot of people that needed help have been taken care of. And, and how you've made that happen, I don't know. But I do understand this, Luciano, that you're part of an impact team. So what is that? So um, as you said, and first and foremost, uh, I just want to say thank you for having me be on this show. I watched some of your episodes and they're just amazing, fun, energetic. So, Wait a minute, um, you don't think I need a psychiatrist? If you don't, no, nobody <laughs> does. So you, you do you. You're you, a good guy. You do you. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, um, we kind of need more of this interaction, interaction with the community. Um, I love that it's a Palm Springs based show. I grew up here in Palm Springs. Um, so it, it holds near and dear to my heart. So to go into your question, um, absolutely. So um, as you said, when Chief Mills came across, um, you know, about two years ago, um, he noticed that there was issues in Palm Springs, right? So he took it upon himself um, as the leader that he is and reached out to the community members to see what do they have problems with. And the consensus, everybody has obviously their own issues within their neighborhoods, within their organizations, but um, the consensus was the unhoused. Um, there, there was obviously issues down in the downtown business district with them sleeping in front of storefronts, on the sidewalks, everything in that nature. So, um, and it's sad. These people need help. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, there, there's unfortunate events that put them out in that way or they come out here for help and they have no family ties here. Um, they come from out of state and then they kind of fall through that help that they're trying to get here and then where do they end up? They end up on the streets. Chief Mills put together our team. We obviously go out there with unhoused. We go out there with um, resources such as Jewish Family Services, Coachella Valley Rescue Mission, um, you know, other mental health places, uh, veteran affairs, people, because obviously there's vets that are out, out there on the streets. So we try to provide them resources, get them into housing, um, get them placed, um, and then also get them reconnected with family. Um, a lot of things that they, they have trouble trying to get airplane tickets or bus tickets back home. So we were able to provide that. And I know you not only work very hard on the police force, but you work very hard <laughs> keeping fit. So tell us a little bit. Well, you were just in a competition. I was. And what was that? So in February, it was the Muscle Contest uh, Gold Coast Classic out in Anaheim. It's kind of a opening show to qualify if, if you win to try to advance and obtain your um, IFBB Pro card. So you, you have to do little stages before you can progress into this world of men's physique, bodybuilding, women's wellness, bikini. So it's, you have to compete in these competitions to be able to get to that level where you see the Arnold Classic or Mr. Olympia. Well, you are amazing. I appreciate that. So how that. did you get yourself to look like that? <laughs> 
Very, very uh, strict, strict diet. Wait till you see what we're gonna cook today. <laughs> I have an amazing coach and an amazing gym. Um, as you can see, supporting them, Desert Metro. My trainer, Gilbert, we, he monitors me weekly. I send him weekly updates. He tells me pretty much what I can eat. Um, and then he gives me my workout routines. It's kind of funny how I got into it. June of 23 was my first competition. Um, and then kind of a couple months before that, a group of guys from the department were like, hey, let's do this. And I'm, I'm a competitive guy, you know, we're, we're all kind of that type A personality. Yeah. So I'm like, let's do this. So I never was into it before. Um, I never really thought about it. Um, and then we got to our trainer. We kind of all had the same chill, uh, like I said, the same trainer at Desert Metro. Um, and then we went to center podium in June of 23. And I was in the category for men's physique, um, the open, uh, true novice, which was my first time ever competing. And then they had, and the reason we did it, they had like a um, heroes uh, category, which was like for law enforcement, firefighters, active military. So um, I put in for all three of those categories and I took first in all three. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So I was just like, wow. So my trainer's like, hey, you can really do something with this if you want. So I said, You're I ran. want. <laughs> You're around. So then following that um, July, I went to nationals in Vegas and I was humbled very quickly because there was a lot of individuals there that have been training for years on uh. end. <laughs> so. Uh. So, but it was Green good. Green pops, I'm sure. It, it was good because it kind of made me hungry and know what my goal was. It made me desire for it more. You so wanted it even more. I did. I, I got hungry for it. So I talked to my coach, you know, he's like, hey, it's all right. We've all been there. I'm very supportive. And then got put on prep starting in October. I missed a lot of great holiday <laughs> dinners, <laughs> um, right. especially being in an Italian family. Uh, Christmas Eve is very huge. <laughs> uh, missed all that, but, oh. my, but, but my family's supportive. Um, they knew what I was going through. They knew what I want. And then in February um, of this year, again, competed at in Anaheim for muscle contest, uh, men's physique, and took my category again. So Number one. <laughs> I know. Look at those medals. We've got a picture of those medals. It's amazing. Well, I can't tell you what an honor it is to have you here today. Not, not too hard to look at either. A little, a little easy on the eyes. God, can I say that? <laughs> but we are going to be right back because guess what? We're going to get over into the kitchen and we're going to start whipping up something Italian. Nice. So here we are in the kitchen with the Palm Springs Baker and none other than Luciano Colantuano. You are of Italian descent, I take it. I am. So with that given, Luciano, I thought we better make something Italian. Oh, beautiful. So like an Italian dessert. Okay. Do you eat dessert once in a while? Well, right now I can. Actually. And maintain all this? <laughs> I know. Can you believe this? <laughs> I know. Because you're getting ready for another competition. Yeah. Oh my so God. I'm good for right now. You can I, have I, a little bit. I got some time. I got some time. You got I can time. Indulge. And we'll get indulge. you just a little smidgen. A little Alrighty. Smidge. You know, they call this torta diplomatica. But you know, I thought that was just a little too fancy schmancy for us, right? <laughs> so you know what we're going to call it? You tell me. Sex in a pan. There we go. There what, you go. What's not sexy about Italian dessert, right? Exactly. Exactly. So we're going to start with the crust. And we're going to go over here on the stove. And we've got some water that we're trying to get to boil. We've got one cup of butter. And we're going to just let that melt in here and come to a boil. So that's going to take a little while. So what we're going to do is we're going to just start pouring in our flour right into that boiling water butter mixture. And we're gonna just start stirring that, stirring that, and then just kind of work this into a nice dough. Okay, so we have this pretty well mixed, not fully, but we're gonna just dump that out into a large bowl. Get that all out there. And you know what, that butter in there, it really is a very forgiving dough. You know, it just kind of slides right out of there pretty easily. How are you at breaking eggs, kiddo? Uh, not not too good. I need like a couple. Oh, you're so damn strong. I, I need a right couple there. cracks at it. A couple cracks at it. So I am going to start mixing these eggs in here and working kind of fast. 
Oh boy, he's, I can't keep up with him. You're fast at this, kiddo. Eight eggs, everybody. Eight eggs. You already eight. did that already. I, You're, trust me, eggs were a part of my I integral part of the diet that I had. I bet you could have just broken them with one hand. You know? Oh, no, 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 no. Or on your muscles here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just stirring this and whisking this like crazy and getting this into a nice dough. We're gonna spread this. We've got this pan all greased up. I bet you get a little greased up too for your competitions, <laughs> don't you? Speaking of getting greased up. <laughs> I bet you uh, do. It's just a little tanny, that's all. Uh -huh. No, No grease involved. I kind of like to get my fingers right into it. There you go. You know? It ain't fun unless you get your hands dirty, exactly. right? Exactly. Well, you want to help here? <laughs> all I right. wasn't sure. There you go. Also, so we want to just- It's all still nice and warm. It's warm. I know. There you go. Especially on this day when it's raining outside. Yes. You get a little fingertip warm. We're going to just spread this out as evenly as we can. But you know what? We want it to look a little bit rustic. So we've got this all pretty evenly spread. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. We've got our oven at 350 degrees, and we're just gonna pop, if you wanna get the oven sure. door, we're gonna pop that in the oven for... Yeah. Fill that warmth roll out there. There you go! And that is just gonna be go... Whoa! <laughs> he's, he's so strong he can't help me. I know, kiddo. Um, we're gonna have... You got, you got me off a clamp, sweetie. We're gonna let that go in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. So, Luciano, we've got our crust. It just came out of the oven, so we're gonna let that cool a little bit, but doesn't that look good? It does. It's just oh. really moist. It's truly that that cream puff dough, so it's moist and chewy and just yummy for a crust. Nice. So we're gonna layer that with several things. Okay. And we're gonna start out with some cream cheese in here. Alrighty. You wanna the just- The whole bowl. The whole bowl, kiddo, the whole shoot and match. <laughs> Good boy. And then we've got our powdered sugar. And like I said, don't worry about getting all these ingredients because, and their amounts, because it's all at the palmspringsbaker.com. Now, how are you with electric appliances? I well, think I mean, I've, you know, this, this kind of I've, electric I've, appliance. I think I've handled it a few times. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> we want, do we want to know more about that? Prop, maybe not. Uh, He's turning red. I am. I know, oh, there we go. Yeah, get that all mixed together, kiddo. He doesn't waste any time. Guess what goes in there next? Some calorie-dense whipped cream? Yes, and you know what? <laughs> you can use Cool Whip, but we don't do that in this kitchen. All right. This is the real deal. This <laughs> is the real whipped cream. Whoa! And we're gonna just plop all that in there. It's about four to six cups of whipped cream. Wow. And then you know what? I'm gonna let you just sort of gently stir that all together. And now you can just dump that in over the crust and spread it out evenly. We're gonna add another layer into this in just a second. We're gonna make this really easy and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. We're gonna use chocolate and vanilla instant pudding. Nice. So I'm gonna just dump that all into the bowl. And you know what? You can use that same bowl that you whipped all of that uh, cream cheese with. It doesn't matter. Six cups of milk. There we go. And then I'm gonna let you get that beater back over here into the action. Well, you really got that firmed up without trying too hard. Just like that. I know, it's, it's incredible. And then we're gonna just spread that over the top of that cream cheese layer. So we're gonna make our final layer for this wonderful dessert. So we're gonna make some whipping cream as if it weren't rich enough, right? And if you wanna just start whipping that with the mixer, I'm gonna just sprinkle this with a little sugar, a dash of vanilla. We're gonna just put that over the top, just a kind of a thin layer. So we're gonna just spread that ever so gently over the top. It's all about the presentation, right, Luciano? Absolutely. Absolutely. They, they say what, we eat with our eyes first? Oh, God, we do. I, isn't that the truth? And I'm gonna drizzle it, though, first with a little chocolate syrup because I don't think we had enough going on here. Do we? I don't. I, I think maybe we can... It looked kind of dull. Maybe add some walnuts. Oh, yeah. walnuts would be good, or pistachios. Oh, yeah. 
If you've got people that can like do nuts, why not? We can just kind of take this and swirl this through and look at, we get those nice little marks. See, art, this is art to me. It's right art, it's kiddo. Art. It's art. So we just pulled this out of the refrigerator for about an hour after we put that chocolate sauce over the top and we cut ourselves a little dabble, do well, you, you right? Got, you got a little dabble. I, I don't know oh, how I ended up getting Oh, I don't know about that, but you know, the taste is what really counts, right, Luciano? Yep. Let's see what we end up with here. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Mmm. You're right about the crust, I'll tell you that right mm. now. If that isn't sex in a pan, I don't know what is. <laughs> Mary Flaky. Oh my God. Oh, excuse me. I just want to thank you so much for being here today, Luciano. Oh no, thank you. You guys and what you're doing in the community, I know you've got more on the horizon. Tell us a little bit about that. So yeah, uh, again, thank you so much for uh, this opportunity. It was fun. I uh, had a blast as you guys can see. Just laughing, having a good time. That's what cooking's all about, right? Uh, for the community, you guys have been supportive um, and just know that we're not done yet. Um, again, we're going to be continuing on our progress. Um, as you guys can see, where our next phase is now Operation Restore Hope and bringing things back. Again, working with the community members, working with the outreach on providing you know resources and getting people back home to where they belong so that you guys can still see an improvement within the community um, so we can still continue to grow, strive, and be uh, the best city of Palm Springs where I'm so happy to live and work for. Being positive and uplifting, that's the way it is around here thanks to you guys. Thank no. you again. Thank you. And thank you all for watching today. And remember, be good, be you, and bake.